I don't know if y'all know, but this right here, the best fertilizer for my indoor plants. Like, you only need a little bit, and it go a long way, and it do stink. Not even gonna lie, it stink, but my plants love it, and they have been growing like wild weeds all spring long. So, if you ain't got it, you should get it and put it in your arsenal. I got mine off of Amazon, but I know you can get them at Lowe's and I think Home Depot as well. So, yeah. And it is the Espoma Organic Indoor Houseplant Food. Love it. All right, love bugs. This is the insecticide soap that your girl using on these plant babies today. So I'm about to get my Monsteras down first since they're the two biggest plants that I have. About to put them in the shower, spray them down, let them sit in there for a minute. And then I'm going to rinse them. Do y'all rinse this off? Because I noticed on my other pothos that I had, I used to leave this shit on there. And that's probably what killed that plant. Don't tell nobody. It's probably what killed it. But do y'all rinse y'all's off or do y'all leave it on? Because I, I spray it. I let it sit on here. And then I rinse it. And then I spray the plants down again with my neem oil mix. So that's how I do my plants. How you do yours? Let me know. All right, y'all. Look at my monster and all of their glory. Look at them. <laughs> too cute, too cute. But this is the newest leaf here. And then we have one unfurling right here. My monster are doing good. But it's just literally growing out towards the window. So um, I don't know what to do. But I know what I'm about to do. I have not treated them pest control wise in a while, so I ain't really liking the way like this leaf looks. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. It's giving me like a lot of yellow. Um, maybe if I've overwatered, I think I've probably over fertilized like this one too. You can probably see it most definitely here. Like, I don't know if I over fertilized or I had them too close to the window, but I know for sure that I haven't treated them. Or should I wait till the sun go down? Shoot. Because I am going to have to spray them with some neem too. So I'll probably wait till the sun go down, but the leaves are pretty. They are pretty and big. So my monsteras are doing good. So let's check on my pothos. All right, so the pothos is doing good as well. A little dusty because it's sitting right next to my window. We're we reaching. Okay, okay. Got some new leaves in there too. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there's some small leaves in there. Um, You probably can see it now. This mix is really, really chunky. And I do see like a lot of little baby tiny ass leaves in there so what i think i need to do is um get this out of this pot because this is a six inch pot um but i don't really want to like uproot it because it's actually doing good like it's actually i think it's dusty as hell <laughs> but it's actually growing well in this chunky mix but I think the mix is too chunky because look at those little leaves. Like, what am I gonna do with them little ass leaves? What am I gonna do with them? Yeah, it's so pretty. All right, putting it back. So yeah, looking good, doing good right here by my window. But I want y'all to see him guy down there. He could be a net, could not be a net. But what I do know is, but it did. Mm-hmm. He good and gone. So yes, please spray your plants down. I have no clue where the footage went when I was treating these two babies, but they got showed some love too. They got treated, they got watered, they got neem oiled up and all that good stuff. I just didn't want you guys to think I was just only treating my monsteras and that's it. Cause we don't roll like that. We treat all the babies, all of them, except my, my snake plants. Cause they, they still a little wet and I will get to them next week. <laughs> But yeah, these babies got some love as well. All right, treat them right day is over. Yes, it's over. My sterile looking good. They're insecticidal soaked down, they're loved down, they've been watered, wiped down with neem oil. 
and looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Um, the only plants that I did not treat were my snake plants. Um, and that's because I'm really trying to let them dry out. Hence the two moonshines. Um, my, I just checked on my propagation. They're got, they got little roots on them. Um, and I got one more snake plant. Let me show you. This is my baby snake plant. I think I've shown it before. These were all propagations. Um, and I think all of that little one in the front has roots. So the three taller ones in the back have roots. And this little one in the front, I think there was the only one that didn't have any roots. But yeah, this one sits on my nightstand. Um, it's still a little heavy, so I'm not worrying about watering it or treating it. <laughs> Um, I guess I could wipe the leaves down though. I could do that. <laughs> All right, little bugs. Just pop it in to close out this video because your girl is good and tired. Okay, she's good and tired. Had a long day at work, a long week at work, and it's only Wednesday. Long week and then did my plant chores. This is a reminder if you had not treated your plants, watered your plants, fertilized your plants, do it. This your sign. Get her done. Glad I'm done. To those of you who got 50 lamb plants, hat off. Hat off. And I say that every time I have to do plant choice because there ain't no way like I can have a hundred plants in my house. There will never be. But I'm just saying, like there can I never. Nope. Nope. My brain couldn't fathom. I couldn't. I go to tossing plants in the trash left and right. No man. No, how do you keep up your life? Your life, not mine. Anywho, as you can hear, plants are in the background. I'm catching up on some plant videos. Until next time, later, loveys.